and adding turmeric to my bulletproof coffee. Look at the color of that. I've been turning like orange. Good morning, guys. Welcome to our juicery. If you guys are new here, we are a little small town uh, juicery out of Northwest Ohio. We serve up organic cold pressed juice on our X1 Mini. Uh, today we are launching one of our holiday seasonal juices. We're really excited. This might be the most excited I am to drop a holiday seasonal juice. If you guys follow the YouTube channel, you know that our fall seasonals are apple cider and our pumpkin press. If you guys wanna see the front of the juice shop. So Christmassy in here. So today we're making a spoof off of eggnog. We use equal parts cashews and almonds and we soak them for 24 to 48 hours. Almond milks are hard because you need a really good quality nut. Um, I've reacted badly to certain like nut butters and almonds. Nuts are really prone to mold. You wanna find them whole, raw, and organic. Our nut milk is so good. So we soak these, now we're gonna rinse them out. I have too many shades of green on. I've been having really good success with weighing out one pound of nuts and one pound of water, which is about two cups. I will leave a more at-home friendly size recipe uh, down in the description if you guys wanna check that out. You can make this at home uh, just with a blender and like a cheesecloth. This would be super easy. The mini just takes the pressing to a whole different level. The finer that you grind the nuts, the better press you're going to get off the mini. When I don't grind them down really fine, they smush out the top. So that was probably 30 seconds. Then using the Vitamix allows us to bypass the whole top of the grinders. If you're jumping between juicing and nut milks. And, oh, I always do that. Forgot to put the tray in. In my mini review, I said, don't forget to do that. One mistake that I've made a few times is I forget to put the juice tray into the... It's just one of those pieces you don't really think about. And then I'll start pressing and there'll be juice going everywhere. Pause for cleanup. This is one pound of nuts and one pound of water. In my almond milk video, uh, when we first made our almond milks, I didn't experiment on single versus batch. Single, you're gonna get just as good as yield as if you do the batch. I like to leave this press cycle in here a second time and kind of mush it around. And then add another pound of nuts and another pound of water and press it again. Basic nut milk spices are just vanilla, sea salt, and maple syrup. For the eggnog, we are using those classic like holiday spices, so cloves, cinnamon, and, and nutmeg. If you don't want your vanilla to sit on top of your almond milk, mix it in with your sweetener first, so the maple syrup allows it to dissolve. Kind of like the whole oil and water don't mix thing. If you were making this at home, uh, this would be the time where you would run it through a cheesecloth and kind of squeeze it as hard as you could. The mini does a lot better job with that. A good yield for two pounds of nuts and two pounds of water should be over 40 ounces. If you aren't getting over 40 ounces, uh, try grinding your nuts finer and try soaking them up to 48 hours.
White Last Press. This is what the pop looks like. We're testing a banana bread recipe. Well, it's really good. We do have two other holiday juices that are coming. I'm gonna share with you guys. So if you're interested in vegan recipes and all this juicing stuff, hit the subscribe button. We share a lot of our fun recipes and things here with you guys. Uh, check out the X1 mini playlist in the description if you guys want to see more juicing videos. But this is almost done. So we use our original vanilla nut milk recipe and then we're adding the spices to it. But we're going to bottle up like four nut milks um, and then make the rest. holiday nogs. Did you guys love these labels? We wanted to go really retro and do like a spoof off of the old, really old like eggnog uh, dairy packaging. Isn't this adorable? I love it. This is my favorite label so far. Is that your favorite? Yeah. It's, and it's gonna look so good with the like creamy background. I'm so excited! Mesquite powder has this really like, we wanted it to have like a bourbon-y feel. This has this really like smoky flavor. Also has a lower glycemic index, so it's not gonna spike your blood sugar as much. Gives it this really creamy eggnog color too. Jordan is working on posting the eggnog, holiday nog, to uh, Instagram and Facebook. So excited. If you guys are making that at home and want to make it actually like a vegan eggnog. You can add one to two ounces of bourbon to four ounces of your eggnog and not get a bellyache. And if you don't want to get a hangover, Dave Asprey recently has been talking about adding Brain Octane to your drinks, even like his pre-made Bulletproof coffee and rum or bourbon. If you guys want to follow along my holistic health journey, my Instagram is a great place to kind of watch all these fun things. Uh, if you want to follow our juicery, check it out. All of our links are down in the description. I will see you guys tomorrow. We're dropping another seasonal. Uh, it's a ginger shot. A little hint, hint. Uh, that'll be fun to share with you guys. Thanks for following along. I will leave the description if you guys want to make this at home of a good recipe uh, to kind of scale it down. Have a Merry Christmas. We will see you on the next video. Bye!